Grid strategies. You've probably heard a lot about this, but you haven't got a clue what to do, how to set it up, how much money it'll make. So I'm going to explain it to you today. Let's jump in. So what is a grid strategy? A grid strategy is essentially an automated trading strategy that you can find on pretty much most exchanges. I know KuCoin do it. I know Binance do it. And I know the Matrix Port do it, which is the one I'm going to show you today. Very simple to set up. Just set your range. It's all good. So what is a grid strategy? Essentially, you pick a range between where you think your asset will oscillate, right? So for this example, we will use this area. Uh, and let's say we are at 35k after a dump, right? The best time to be in a, in a grid strategy is after a dump, usually with Bitcoin anyway. Um, that way, if it does go lower, then uh, you, you turn it into a DCA. And if it goes higher, you filled all your sell orders and you're in profit, right? Easy. Okay. So with this, how does it work? Essentially, when you get in your grid strategy, it's going to layer orders to the upside and to the downside, depending on how many you set. If you set 10 grids, it's going to layer 10 orders, right? Between both sides. If you layer 20, it's going to be 20 in your range, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, yeah, let's say Bitcoin just goes up and down here in this area. It's going to automatically be taking trade. So, what happens when we hit the first order? It's going to activate, let's say, the sell in this case. And then it's going to turn where it was previously into an order in which you can then buy again from that point. So, essentially, it's going to be automatically refreshing these orders to a point where if it is volatile, if it is a random walk, if it is an area designed to take your money, you just make money from the range, right? Uh, and that is beautiful. The other thing here I want to talk about here is risk management. So before we jump into how much profit you can expect, let's talk about risk management. How are you meant to do this grid strategy? Are you going to go all in 100x, bang it all in? No, absolutely not. What you want to be doing here is figuring out your pivot points, whether that's with Fibonacci, whether that's with previous areas that we've got to, right? Figure out those pivot points and then you can get a good sense of what the ranges will be. With the ranges, let's say we do head down here like we've done. Um, if, if you're still in a grid strategy here, it becomes dollar cost average, right? Uh, and then you start your next grid strategy here, right? So this would have basically got you a lower entry than when you set up the grid if you were to just buy, okay? Because you're making trades, you're bringing that lower entry lower, right? Uh, and then we lose that pivot, we go down to the next pivot, and then we set a new range, a new grid strategy for when it oscillates, right? Um, when not to use it is essentially when we break out towards the upside, your sell orders will be filled. You can then start looking at traditional TA methods for measure moves in which you can make tons of money. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So uh, from that point, let me just talk to you about where I have put grids on the way down here, right? So every time we kind of started ranging after a big dump, I set up a grid. Okay, so my DCA entries would have been coming down like this, but they're lower than typical because I've been basically making money from the automated trading, right? So uh, my average entry right now is probably like 38K, something like that, but I've had grids running in all of these areas. So if Bitcoin does want to come back up, my entry is just going to get lower. It's just going to keep going lower and lower and I've got another one set up here uh, between 18k and 33k because I think this could potentially go lower there are measure moves down here so I'm basically catering to that range if we oscillate anywhere in this I'm making money if we go above it I am out of my trades I've cashed out I've hit my take profits we're all good to go and this grid would then start running again uh, so yes what the typical strategy for this is is to split up your investment uh, amount here uh, so you'll have a trading amount an investment amount and then maybe like a swing trading amount or whatever right or a micro amount where you high frequency trade right but your investment amount should be split into multiple areas of pivots as we've just talked about right so that way whatever bitcoin does you're golden, you're laughing, you're chilling, right? That is cool. Next, I will explain how to set one of these up, what it looks like, uh, and what kind of profit you should be expecting. All right, so first of all, with your Matrix Port app, you can do this on any exchange, but I'm gonna walk you through Matrix Port because it's the easiest to set up here, okay? Uh, what you're gonna do is basically go to the trading section of the Matrix Port app, as you will see on the video on your screen right now. You're gonna basically click uh, on the grid trading bot option, all right, and then you're gonna see lots of things pop up. What you're gonna do is go pick your preferred currency like any exchange, right? I'm gonna be using BTC USDC, right? That's my preferred stable coin. Doesn't get lunared or anything like that. It seems pretty stable and it's on Ethereum. And then you're gonna set your range. So just for the example's sake, we said, hey, 18.5 uh, up to 33. So we're gonna do that now, 18.5. 
up to 33. Good stuff. And uh, next you want to be looking at grids. So if you look at the grids and you just type in a number, say 10, 20, 30, whatever, you'll see a different amount of profit below that uh, based on the previous seven days back testing, right? Uh, or uh, the distance between the grids, uh, the profit you can expect if it's volatile in that area. So the lower the grids, basically you're expecting it to be very volatile. So if you've got like 10, you're expecting like four to 8% trades, whatever. Uh, if you think it's going to be a lot more coiled up and stay within like a, a thousand buck range or a two thousand buck range then you want more grids say like 30 to 50 in which you're targeting like one percent trade something like that uh, and it all depends on what bitcoin's doing so if you look at the previous um kind of areas of bitcoin and how it's been behaving recently you can usually get a sense of the volatility and this is why we say do it after a dump that way you can kind of tell where the local low is first you can tell where the bounce is and then you've got your range set that's good uh, but again you can use fibonacci you can use anything for this i'm using quite a, a wide range here because there is a measure move as i've said down to 18.5 cool so uh, from that point once you've got your grid set up you're going to be basically uh, throwing in the money all right uh, in this case we're going to use a thousand bucks just chuck it in for the for the kind of sake of it right uh, and then you're going to be faced with an option of geometric or arith arithmetic arithmetic uh, whatever these mean basically one uh, which is arithmetic if that if i'm pronouncing that right uh, means basically it's going to ladder in your your orders in a in a stable kind of consistent way right uh, if you're doing geometric it's going to be more like a martingale strategy where the further out to the the edges of the range is going to be more orders okay don't need to worry about that too much it's quite hard to understand just pick one it's all good um i, I would recommend the uh the arithmetic to be honest it's a bit better um and then you just hit continue you get your grid going and you leave it and that is all you need to do to get a grid strategy running how much profit can you expect per year on this and again this is an investment strategy this isn't a 100x gem thing all right uh this is to make consistent money protect your wealth uh, all of that good stuff every uh, whatever bitcoin's doing that's what bitcoin's for at the end of the day so um, what that's going to do is, um, yeah, it's going to generally generate you profit between 30% and 60% per year. I know in the past few months, I've made like 30% on some of my grids. So yes, uh, this is definitely a strategy that I would recommend if you know a little bit about investing, you've got your risk reward set up and you're not a dirty degen gambler, right? You don't want to get looned. Don't get looned. All right. So that is going to be it for this video. Again, links are below for matrix port. Uh, and again, I, I know you guys are probably wondering if you're regulars, why is Hamilton doing affiliate links, whatever, right? Uh, it's, it's not for me. Again, I'm doing a, a project. You guys know if you are regulars from my previous videos, if you've been watching to the end, I'm working on a project where you guys can vote on the content we make and the sponsorship from those contents or affiliate links will go directly to you guys that vote. And this is a, a new business model that my brother and I have come up with, which is essentially uh, vote to earn right engaged viewers get rewarded for basically uh, guiding the content in which we they want to watch right so um, that is cool and uh, yeah if you, if you did want to use that link that's great and yeah we'll we'll see you in that project very very soon lots of great stuff to come on this channel if you do just want to learn to trade if you want a free webinar look below any questions about grids guys in the comments i'm here I'm, it's a small channel i'm gonna see the comment i'm gonna reply all right so don't feel overwhelmed if you have any questions just let me know i'll see you in the next video like and subscribe peace out